never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, every day, live your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, have the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big change, stand in the path, put me in the wind, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shama here. Welcome to the first hand closer look at this all new Femi Manta high endurance, long range vertical takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft. I believe I'm again lucky to be the first one in the world to get my hands on this very first Femi Manta sample that just came from the Femi. So, so let me give you as much information as possible about this aircraft and give you a closer look at the aircraft and the components. But before we proceed, please make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications. Now starting with the components, as you can see, this is what came in the box. Let's talk about uh, the plane first, okay, because this is the most important thing. As you can see, this is a small, uh, flying wing type of configuration, but of course a tricopter VTOL configuration provided on this plane. The tail motor is already installed and this one does not tilt. The tail motor will stop because it's uh, just mounted vertical. During the forward flight it will stop and the front two motors will tilt forward to make it fly forward or cruise forward. This is a tricopter VTOL configuration and inside you have been provided an Ardu pilot. We will talk about this very, very soon. So first, let me give you a closer look at the plane. You would appreciate this little compact design, which is very, very easy to carry in its complete assembled form. And if not, if you're, you know, uh, on a motorcycle, you want it to go in a backpack, it's very easy. There is a button and a latch. Under the plane, as you can see, you can simply push these red buttons and remove remove the wings easily making this aircraft even more easy to carry in a backpack because you just have this now which you can easily tuck in a backpack now installing and removing uh, the wings this is just a snap on setup as you can see that these motors these power combos right here they have these connectors provided to you, which you will glue right here on the wings. This way, once you have installed your power combo on the wing, okay, you will have a connector here. So look at here, there are connectors already installed at the left and right side. So as soon as after the installation of power combo, when you push the wing inside, the connectors will meet and you have a very neat and clean setup. So very easy assembly, and this assembly is snap-on design. I simply like it. After that, let's take a closer look at this uh, power combo supplied. So you have a motor installed already. You have a servo here for the tilt system, all right? It's already installed, and there's another servo for controlling the ailerons, and then you have these left and right clearly marked on these these connectors that you can install on the wings and installing these is going to be very very simple there's just one screw to put you can always glue the other parts on top of them so it's going to be very very neat and clean setup now coming to the fuselage after removing the top hatch you can see there's plenty of space for batteries it will take batteries up to 
3S uh, 2000 milliamp easily, but make sure the batteries are not long. Okay, I plan to fly it with a 4S 2300 milliamp battery. So 3S or 4S batteries are fine to go with this aircraft or to fly this aircraft. You have a space right here on top where you can install your FPV cameras or the systems that you want. You have more space here to install your FPV gear inside. The GPS is already installed and what's best, they have given you an Adu Pilot flight controller right here. So you can download the open source, very well known and a huge community support for Adu Pilot and you will be able to easily set this up. By the way, Fimi says that the aircraft flight controller is already configured. All you need to do is download the Adu Pilot, connect, uh, connect your own receiver to the aircraft, your own FPV system, uh, configure your radio system of your choice, uh, and just double check your parameters on the Ardu Pilot and Mission Planner, and you can fly this aircraft easily and start doing your missions using the Mission Planner. So the thing that I like about this aircraft and the approach for the FEMI that I actually like for this FEMI Manta is that they are giving us a PNP system okay not just as design snap on wings and everything but the best thing as i said the pnp system that they gave us and the options for us are simply wider to set this thing up as we like with the radios of our own choice okay so that was the flight controller and um you know gps and other stuff now on the nose as you can see right here you have this wrench that you can remove and they have also provided uh other type of uh you know covers that you can use to uh you know install your fpv cameras here all right it's just that easy and i believe we also have uh, enough space to install um you know three axis stabilized gimbal that i have seen coming from ce which also provides ai tracking options and a very stable video and by the way using the ce radio control system you can have 15 to 30 kilometer long range high definition video not just control but high definition video up to 30 kilometer so you have a choice to use that radio as well should you be able to afford that system i plan to get one of that system because that will that will turn this aircraft into a pure long range surveillance mapping aircraft without any worries and having to have the Ardu pilot right here it will have complete total autonomous flight capabilities okay so the next thing is i'm going to install this and make uh, hopefully i have enough time to make a build video for femi manta which is going to come on my channel very very soon so please stay tuned for that uh, they have also provided a nice good quality gem fund propellers uh, these are common propellers you can easily find these in the market should you break one uh, you know and assembly looks basically straightforward. There, there are a couple of these cables provided with the right connector so you can set up your FPV system, your receiver and everything. Okay, and what's more about the aircraft, if you want to look at, okay, this is how it came. So before I end this video, I just want you to get a good look. There's a CG clearly marked. Okay, these things, uh, uh, the connectors, the connecting rods are already installed and this tape uh, they are taped right here so that they will not move around the box. Okay, and if you move remove these as you can see it becomes really easy for you to install your power combo right here and run the cable nice and neat inside. So it's gonna be so it's a very considerate design and it's gonna be a very very neat and easy build and I'm very much looking forward to build this aircraft and keep it in VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing uh, as it is advertised as a VTOL. Keep it as a VTOL. In the beginning, I do not have plan to convert it into a uh, fixed wing FPV flying wing only because having to have this as a VTOL is its best feature right here, which makes it a very unique aircraft because VTOLs can take off from anywhere, land anywhere, and then you have a forward flight capabilities with all the autonomous flight capabilities of Ardu pilots. So you have plenty and plenty of options to experiment with this aircraft. And that's why I say this is really a very smart choice, Fimi, and I love it that you release it as a PNP and people are going to be very, very happy with this one. 
So people, thank you very much for watching this video. Next, as you know, uh, as per my time, inshallah, I'll do my best to post assembly and build video, setup video. I'm going to set it up with my Radio Master Boxer Edge TX using the uh, Radio Master ELRS system. I have the Micro Ranger, so I will be using ELRS system, which will give me up to 10 kilometer range on this one. I will see and post all the videos step by step on my channel next to so stay tuned on my channel and don't forget once again to subscribe and hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications. It's very important if you turn on all the notifications and then you will be able to be and then you will get notifications for the new uploads. Now, let me know in the video comments what would you like to see next about this aircraft. I would love to post answers to all your questions should you have any in the coming videos. So thank you very much once again for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way very soon if you have any questions once again put them in the video comments come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there i know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.